only on CBS This Morning, we're proud to announce the 2016 National Teacher of the Year. Our country is home to more than three million teachers. Each year, thousands are nominated for the honor, and this year's final four were chosen for their ability to develop students' minds and character, along with inspiring social awareness. And the winner is, drum roll please, Johanna Hayes. Ooh. Shout out to you, Mrs. Hayes. She teaches history <laughs> through 12th grade. Look at her school. <laughs> She's a 12th grade at John F. Kennedy High School. That's in Waterbury, Connecticut. I think the kids like Mrs. Hayes. Hundreds of her students at Kennedy are watching you right now. They are just finding out that Mrs. Hayes has won. I think she's getting a kick out of this, too. Has won this national award. Empowering these children through community service is central to Mrs. Hayes' teaching philosophy. We met some of them working on a project and learned about the impact of Mrs. Hayes on their lives. Oh, that's nice. Oh, my God. All the way down there, and then you're waiting for black, right? Yeah. She's not like most teachers. Miss Hayes understands us completely. She actually like gets everyone involved. It makes it fun. All right, where do we need more green? In the morning, after school, during school, she'll always be talking to her students. Whenever she walks into a room, it just brightens up your day. That fountain looks really good. Look how bright it looks from here. She's always saying that like you have to put on your big girl pants. If you want something, you have to do it yourself. You have to do it. You can't just sit around and wait for it. She's always taught us to be conscientious members of society. Do it right all the time or not at all. You can tell she enjoys teaching and that like it's not her job to hurt. My family has been through a lot and she's been there. She really believes that every student has a chance to do well in life. Awesome. That's really cool. Okay, tears making me yes, cry. I and know. here she is at the table, the 2016 <laughs> National Teacher of the Year, Nora. Johanna Hayes. Good morning. What, what was I more know. exciting, watching you? <laughs> I know. Look at the kids and the kids cheering her on. I know. How about that? Look at there's your there's your students. <laughs> where, where, oh. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Wow. What does this award mean to you? Wow. Yeah. I have so many emotions. It's. Uh, Exciting, I'm nervous, thrilled, blessed, mm -hmm. grateful. All of the above. All of the all above. What, what makes you so good at your job? All the mistakes that I've made. Mm -hmm. All the things that I've done wrong. Because mm -hmm. it really reminds me of what it means and how important it is. What do you love about it? That. That mm -hmm. shot you just saw. Mm -hmm. Those kids. Mm -hmm. The that connection one. with them and yes, impact on their lives. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I've heard you say that you believe that every single student can learn, that it's up to the teachers to figure it out. Every single one of them. You do? Every single every one single of them. One. Mm -hmm. I've I, met some I, knuckleheads, I, Mrs. That's Hayes. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. Everyone has a gift. Mm -hmm. And I think that once you figure out what that gift is and you make a connection with them and meet them wherever they are, that learning occurs. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? that connection, that yeah. personal connection by showing them that you care. It's interesting, your background is interesting. I was reading, you, you, you said you come from a rough neighborhood, you had a lot of knocks in life, you were a teenage mother in high school, yet you decided even back then this wasn't gonna, this wasn't gonna hold you back, did you? Yes, I... I mean, what was your thinking back then? Because I think it's very traumatic to become a teenage mother in high school. It's weird because even within that neighborhood, there were so many positive people. There were so many activities. I was raised by my community, mm -hmm. you know, and so I don't take the responsibility lightly of being a teacher because I know that that role doesn't end at the classroom. You know, for me, there were so many people outside of their traditional role who stepped up, mm -hmm. you know, and had, were impactful. I, so, love, I love that you say that because you, you, you're not just teaching them. You say you're teaching them to be members of their community. And so a lot of what you do is, is community service, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Because I think that so much of our focus has been, you know, graduating s students who are self-sustaining. I think scores, we need to yeah. graduate citizens. We need to graduate people who care about their neighbors, who will be conscientious, productive members of society. You know, this is the nation that I want to see moving forward. Mm -hmm. So that is so important to me. And I think that so much has been given to me mm -hmm. that I feel obligated mm -hmm. to make that a part of who I am. What happens now that you're the teacher of the year? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I think I am excited to starting a conversation and a dialogue that includes people who 
previously had not been a part of this conversation. Community members, church organizations, businesses. Education is about everybody working together. I am excited about bringing my values about service learning mm -hmm. and giving back to communities to a national platform and hopefully inspiring other teachers to do the same. Mm -hmm. What that means and what it looks like, I'm not really sure. <laughs> well, you've got uh, a whole year to figure that out. You've got four children of your own. Do you help them with their homework? Uh, yes. Uh, I, and my kids are just like everyone else's kids. Are They're they? all over the place and they also keep me grounded and remind me of how important it is well, for teachers to do what they do. Like your students, I'm sure your kids are very proud of you. Thank yeah. you very much for coming in today. Yes, thank, thank you, you for having me. It was very nice to meet you from Connecticut. Nice to meet you as well. <laughs>